Hi, I'm Jungle Jenny, and we're here in an animal sanctuary in Palos Verdes, California, where they just happen to have a lot of primates. So today I'm gonna to take the opportunity to talk about the captive crisis of primates, which is an issue that's very near and dear to my heart. Jungle in the jungle. I'm here with Shelly Ladd, also known as the Monkey Lady. And Shelly, who's your little friend? This is Ben. He's a TD monkey from South America. And he was brought here to the sanctuary because he was confiscated for not, people did not have the proper permits. So he'll live out his life here in sanctuaries as so many captive monkeys do in this, the United States. So I understand that we're seeing primates more than ever in some of these sanctuaries. Maybe you can explain a little bit why this is occurring. Well, one of the reasons is a lot of people want these animals as pets, and they're becoming mm -hmm. banned in many, many states. People also get these animals and they figure they're, they're like surrogate babies. Well, they're not. They live 50, 60 years, some of them. Nobody wants a baby for 50 or 60 years. They're never housebroken. They bite. They can do severe damage despite their small size. So when they get older, they always want to dump them on sanctuaries, so we're overflowing. So here another example of a primate in the sanctuary. Uh, Shelly, maybe you could tell us a little bit about how Igor showed up, how he... Igor was found wandering. He had a rope around his neck, which he obviously chewed through the other side, so he ended up on somebody's porch, animal control was called, and he was brought here. He was very young. As you can see, Igor, Igor. he's pretty an aggr pretty aggressive monkey. Hi, he's not, Hi. you know, he'll reach out. Ah. That's the way they grow up. They don't yeah. want to be with humans. They want to be with other monkeys. He doesn't have another monkey like him right now, but hopefully he will someday. What kind of monkey is this? He's a Java macaque, uh, or a crab-eating macaque. They're from Indonesia, and they're, they're very often used in medical research. With these primates, what's the likelihood of them being able to be released in the wild? Like, what's their survivability rate? Zero. Zero? These, these pets can never survive in the wild. They have no monkey manners. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to survive in a, you know, in a society with other monkeys unless they've been taken to a sanctuary where they're living with other monkeys, then they would learn that. But as far as fi finding their own food, staying away from predators, they don't have that behavior. So if you could say anything about having a primate as a pet, what would your advice be to someone that's thinking about having a primate? I would say rethink it. They, they're ripped from their mothers, it, you know, from their, when they're tiny babies, they're pulled from their mothers to live a very unnatural life. They, you cannot speak monkey, I don't care who you are. They need mm -hmm. to be with their own kind. They don't need to be in our homes. They act out and then it's always the monkey's fault. No, it's the human's fault for putting them in that position. They're just doing what comes natural. They challenge for dominance. And this spider monkey here, her name's Buenga. She's probably about 30 years old. She was somebody's pet, she became aggressive and they gave her up, so she's been living here. She's a very sweet girl, but she can they can all be aggressive. They live maybe 12 years in the wild, mm -hmm. sometimes 25 years in captivity. These little guys, yeah. Yeah. Some of the other monkeys, the capuchins, which are very popular as pets, mm -hmm. can leave, live 50, 60 years. And people just don't realize that. They're dealing with an animal that's going to, you know, never be trained. It's going to be a handful all of its life, and especially when they get older. So as cute as this animal looks, yes. definitely not a good pet. Definitely not a good have. pet, no. 24-hour care. You never get a vacation. I understand you have an issue with breeders. Why yeah, is that? Well, because they're in it for the money. They do not educate the people that buy these animals what to expect from them. And it's like they are selling loaded weapons. These little monkeys can do severe damage. It doesn't matter the size. When they get mad, they get mad. And, and the breeders are not telling the downside of these monkeys. They just sell them as cute little babies. They're not. So perhaps through education, we can really make a difference as well. That's why Ben and I are here. Jungle